Hey guys, I decided to try out the live commentary feature on my device, so I thought I would make a video on Slim Chance. I see a lot of people having trouble with the no incapacitations on this level. Uh, the team I'm going to be running today is my farming team, and they are equipped with nothing but farming ISOs. If I were to run ISOs in, in this, um, trying to get the stars, I would probably be running extra energy and damage reduction on Star Lord and maybe damage reduction and regen on the rest of my characters. Uh, damage is not so important on this, especially if you're level 100, if you have a good amount of the AES hexes filled out because uh, the damage scales as the timer runs down. So uh, by the end of this, you're doing a lot of damage even if you don't have any damage equipped on your characters. I generally don't sweat the damage in the beginning of this trial so much. Uh, more or less just kind of try to avoid most of Loki's big attacks and I just want to get my EX meter filled up because uh, that's usually how I take Loki out. Also, unless you have the mindless one stunned with Star-Lord, don't bother trying to use a tornado. They will absorb it. Um, and then also worth noting is you got these ISOs, uh, dark ISOs on the ground. As long as you don't take any physical damage like I just did from Loki, you're fine with those. Uh, they'll block everything else and charge up and are a pretty nice weapon if they hit what you're aiming at. Um, But they don't always go where you expect them to. If you do get hit, obviously, they're gone. The Dark Iso comes into play more uh, when Cyclops shows up. That should take care of Loki. Alright, Super Giant will be showing up in 15 seconds. She shows up at the 315 mark. So, if I have an EX ready for her, that's cool. There she is, right on time. Got my EX charged. I would like to have her stunned before I use it if possible. Alright, once I stun her, I like to get the tornado on, charge it, and then use the EX attack. Alright, you can see I got a couple of blue orbs over there. I try to nurse those things and pick them up only when I'm out of energy. Uh, if they're scarce, a lot of times I'll throw some heavy attacks in right after the shock attack because uh, that will give me a little EP recharge. This is a semi-viable way to farm for rainbows. Um, it's not as good as Nowhere or Wakanda, but it is less boring. Since I'm running with Magneto, it's always best to aim into his Vortex. He's going to pull everybody in, so best place to be aiming with Star-Lord. As you can see, you can pull off quite a few EX attacks. Uh, if you're spamming Star Lord's electrical shock. Okay, 149. I'm probably not going to use an EX right now because Cyclops will be here at 130, and I really want that EX attack for when he shows up. I do like to have as much stuff dead as possible, but I like to have energy and have an ISO in my hand when he. And of course, this one's going to be blowing up. All right. 
no problem. We'll pick up another ISO. Now Cyclops is pretty good at dodging these things when you throw them. So I like to get him right after he hops, if possible. Right here, it's just good to be patient. Get this thing filled up. He's using a skill, so I'm pretty sure I'm going to hit him. And I'm going to blow my EX on him, obviously. And that should take him out, I believe. If it doesn't, it'll be close enough I can get him with the skill. Yeah. So from here on out, it's all about just keeping your, your uh, EP up on Star-Lord. Making sure that you have enough to keep these enemies uh, crowd controlled to some extent. I like to burn as much time doing EX attacks as possible. And uh, generally the best way to uh, keep your EP up is right after you use a shock attack and yeah, throw in a you know some kind of basic afterward while everybody's still uh, staggered from the shock attack. Okay, I'm down to 14 seconds. I'm going to have an EX. I am out of energy, so once this EX ends, I'm probably going to be looking to pick up an ISO. As long as nobody physically hits me with this thing, I'm fine. I can just wait the clock out with this. And there we go. Uh, not what I would consider a good run, but I haven't been running this much lately. Uh, my max, I think, is like 396 enemies defeated, and that was like 276. Usually I average around 300, 330 on a typical run. But in any case, there it is, zero incapacitations, and uh, like I said, watching the clock is, is big in that one. And just be ready for Cyclops to, uh, to show up and use that ISO on him. And sometimes it takes a couple of tries, um, and it's, like I said, he's really good at dodging those things. So I like to wait until he's using an attack uh, in another direction, or until right after he's hopped, and then try to nail him with one of those things. I don't know. Hope this is helpful for somebody, and you guys have a good day.